Yo, what it do? It's your boy Double Up, and I'm back with another <laughs> banger. Man, I'm here to tap in about that boy Lil Boom, man. I know you done heard. If you haven't heard, the boy Lil Boom in Walmart touching little girls. at Some of them at the age of 10. One thing I'm not going to stand for is a man touching a little girl or children, period. Like, he's a sick individual. And then the, the fact that he's in denial... That makes it even worse. But I'm going to roll this little clip and it is a little narration for you to see what really happened. Controversy stirred in Florida after a local police department's revived post implicated rapper Lil Boom in allegations of inappropriate touching at a Walmart, including those involving children. The post, featuring the rapper's image, sought the public's help in identifying him. Lil Boom, whose real name was disclosed by the police, promptly refuted the allegations on social media. Lil Boom, the rapper, vehemently denied allegations, claiming they aimed to tarnish his reputation. He stated that if true, he would be on an offender's registry. Amid online outrage, heightened by No Jumper's Instagram share of the police post, debates have emerged. Some expressed shock and disgust, while others questioned the allegations' validity. Following Lil Boom's denial, 1090 Jake's cryptic comment added intrigue, hinting at more information. Sexy Y Red, appear, expressed shock, deepening the divide. Lil Boom's girlfriend defended him, attributing the incident to a false accusation after a Walmart altercation. She revealed charges were dropped and hinted at potential legal action against the accuser. Despite the rapper's girlfriend's defense, online discussions persist with speculation and division. Supporters rally behind Lil Boom, while skeptics await more information. The incident serves as a stark reminder of social media's power and its tendency for swift, sometimes unwarranted judgments. Despite him saying he didn't touch or grab on these children, this video here proves him wrong. Then on DJ Academic Stream, he exposes the truth of Lil Boom stalking and assaulting little children, one that was at the age of 10 during the occurrence. This guy Lil Boom is in denial, as he says he not on the predator list, which he should be in these videos. You can see him clearly assaulting these young girls. Since the incident has unfolded in the truth, has came to light DJ Academics has fired Lil Boom. Lil Boom lied to academics saying the allegations were false until academics got the full-on truth. From my point of view, Lil Boom is a sexual predator and should be kept away from kids at all costs. You have to be a sick individual in order to assault a child. Lil Boom is still on his stream gaslighting the situation like it's a game or something. In my opinion, I say lock his up immediately seeing that he see nothing wrong with what he did. I feel bad for the little girls who had to endure this sick man's sick assault. The fact that Lil Boom is still on his stream saying that he doesn't think that he did nothing wrong and he would be on the list, the, you know, the, the predators list, it just, it just makes me wonder, like, something must be really wrong with this guy. Like, what's really wrong with him? Um, I want y'all to leave y'all comments and thoughts in the comments because, man, this is a sick individual, man. He needs to be out the streets. I don't know how he wasn't a able to get put on the predators list because from these videos, you can clearly see that he was doing what he said he wasn't doing. And academics went on his stream and said, like, yo, I got all the footage of what you was doing, and he's still just denying it, which that – that makes him a sick individual. Like, all these women in the world, and you want to go look and touch on a little little girl. Like, these ain't no, these little girls, man. I know ain't nobody feeling that. So leave your thoughts and comments in the comments. And, man, I until another one, man, I'm gone.